hello hello and welcome back to another art stream Ooh. <laughs> i'm excited to do more photoshop today and just kind of mess around a bit more because i feel like i did an art stream on like the first day of last month i think so i figured i would try and do one on the first day of february <laughs> so just to squeeze in something fun to start off the new month and all that stuff so with that said let's go ahead and get photoshop up and running here and ooh, transition that over you should see me in the bottom left yeah <laughs> i keep thinking things are mirrored for some reason so but let's go ahead and get our little square canvas all set up and ready to go and then today as per usual i have no actual like <laughs> ideas of where to start so we're just gonna start laying down some stuff i kind of want to make like i don't know i guess we could just start with some selections like usual what if we make like stripes or something but oh yeah the area is empty because it's blank <laughs> okay cool we'll do that i think we'll do like stripes of like different sizes kind of and then we might like overlay a gradient on top of them maybe Let's go ahead and give that a shot. So then if I do this with it uncontiguous, I think we're able to make a new layer. Gradient. Let's pick some colors. Let's do like a purple. Purple to white. Mm, I don't know. Well, maybe because there's like white in the background, so it might be kind of interesting. So let's try it like that. Yeah, that is kind of weird. And then we can like select inverse so then it's like the white sections instead and then we could like do like a different cut that's kind of weird what if we make the purple slightly different though how'd i do it like that yeah we'll kick start with this <laughs> this little funky little stripe platform thing and then since we haven't embossed anything in a while <laughs> Let's find our emboss, because <laughs> I always love embossing everything. So good. We're just going to do some extreme embossing. Wait, go back one. Why is this like vortex down here at the bottom? I don't know. Kind of weird, but kind of cool. Let's see if we can get a good blending mode of it. So that was kind of fun. Divide's kind of cool. I kind of also just like saturation, even though it's kind of muted, but Maybe there was another one that was also neat. Lighten's not bad. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with Divide first here. And then we'll do another version that was light in, I think, is that? Yeah. Give that a shot. Also, my phone is jiggling. <laughs> I got a text, okay. <laughs> cool. Um, and then with both of these, let's try mixing them into something. We could do divide again, and then maybe we can like darken slash bump up the colors a little bit, and then like add it back in with like the original purple, maybe? Let's give that a shot. I mean, darkening is kind of fun, honestly. And then of course when I render it, it turns completely different. <laughs> always does this to me. Photoshop, why are you like this? Hello, welcome to the stream. <laughs> you haven't missed much so far. We pretty much like, I can show, this is pretty much what we originally started with. And then now we're here, <laughs> which is a, a very significant difference. But I kind of give some cool like colors to like the weird vortexy thing. Of course, as soon as I render it, it's different every single time. <laughs> like, why is it like this? Photoshop's always acting so weird on me. I think it just hits like a threshold where like the blending modes don't know what to do. Because there's just like too much going on, you know? Let's see. That's kind of fun. See? <laughs> It just keeps doing it. It's like I hit okay and then it's like, I don't think that's what you really wanted. And it's like, well, I kind of did, but I guess Photoshop knows best, right? Oh well. 
Okay, so we have this. And I kind of think we want to pattern it out. <laughs> it looks amazing though, thank you. <laughs> I feel like this one might be interesting. I have hope for it. So let's go ahead and flip it around. Well, never mind. <laughs> Already messed up, okay. We'll flip this around now and then it should do what I wanted. Yeah. Okay, we got that. And then we can copy and then flip it up. I mean, this is kind of like a basic shape though. I don't know if I'm feeling it too much. But maybe we can polar coordinates this and make something neat. I do think the original shape was cooler, actually. Well, maybe we can mix this weird orb back into it and make something weird. Mm, not really. <laughs> Dang it. Well, lighten's not too bad, I guess. But maybe if we do that, and then if we take what we had down here... I'm also not very happy with the colors at the moment. But what if we... Well, let me think for a sec. What if we shear it? Maybe? That's kind of weird. Okay. So we like offset it from itself a little bit. So that was kind of interesting. And if we flip it around, we could multiply it into something. Uh, I think these have potential though. I'm feeling something's gonna come out of this, maybe. Okay, let's go back up to like the more extreme mix modes. So we have multiply and linear burn. Darker color brings in the red, but I kind of like the red just being the dots. Is there much of a difference between linear burn and multiply? Not really. Okay. But we got this. This music's so like hopeful sounding. <laughs> it's like it's kind of buoying my spirits a little bit, but at the same time, it feels like it's a little bit much, you know. So now, if we mix these two, can we get something cool? I mean, that almost looks like a hard shape. Which could be interesting. Hold on, let's play around with this for a millisecond here. It's not quite a heart, though. But it's like... No. No, it's not. <laughs> like, it's really not. Okay. But... Okay, let's take this back and... Is this the heartless? <laughs> Man, I think I do want to play Kingdom Hearts 1 on stream at some point. I just don't know when. Because I feel like it's so similar to Final Fantasy 13 too, you know? But... Is that a bad thing? I don't know. <laughs> Not really, but... Hmm. Photoshop's just being super weird. Hold on, let's try some like color overlay stuff. Dude, that's kind of funky. That's kind of fun. Why do I always like really extreme blue and red? Like, that's always my go-to. But this is kind of cool, too. But it's like, I never do anything with yellow. I don't know. Let's try this for a bit, maybe. Rasterize layer style. Well, now it's different. <laughs> okay, that's not what I wanted, but that's okay, I guess. Thanks, Photoshop. I guess I really messed this one up to the point where Photoshop just doesn't know what to do with it, like, at all. But that's kind of fun. <laughs> okay. Well, now we have more of just, like, a cool crystal shape, maybe. It's not too bad. I don't know which colors I like more. 
I don't really like that green being there. But I guess I kind of like this form. Will it stay the same when I hit merge? No. Well, we could manually do that. Hold on a second. So what does it look like? Okay. So we just got to make these selections then. This is going to be annoying, but... I'm a little quiet. Mm, I could turn my mic volume up a little bit, but... I don't know, it seems like on like where the mic stuff is, it looks like my levels are okay. But if it persists, let me know. And I can start activating theatrical projection techniques somehow and start like yelling into the mic. <laughs> um, I do have a tendency to be a little mumbly though, so I totally understand. It is the struggle. I just need to learn to speak more forward and with more confidence and yada yada. <laughs> so. so if I inverse this and then do something. Oh, I did the wrong something. Hold on. So if I do that, but I do kind of want to keep like parts of it. So I want to keep this little shapey thing. Maybe I am quiet today. I don't know. Start yelling. <laughs> I don't know, because like when I laugh like that, it like almost clips on the audio so i'm like like uh am i being too quiet like we'll never know i guess but do i want to keep any of the rest of the shape nonsense though okay let's boost it to 100 i don't know this looks kind of cool i'm kind of okay with that right okay so we got like a minimalist shape can we go back to our, this thing? Not linear burn. Hold on a second. Let's flip her upside down. Oh, we could get like weird like tartan clown rainbow vomit. That's kind of fun. I mean, <laughs> that's certainly a look, but Oh, that actually did what it looked like it was going to do for once. That's surprising. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm like gradually making more and more of it like a heart, kind of. But... I kind of wonder if I can make... Hmm... I don't really have an end to that sentence. I'm still trying to think about what I was thinking. But it's like, what if I can turn this into this color? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't matter. We need to figure out something for the background, though. What just happened? Why did it do that? Who knows? Okay. So we need to do something in like the negative space or we need to like pattern this out or something. You know, we gotta do a little bit of some something here. At least the song's really fun. <laughs> okay. So lighten or screen. Okay. Where's the center line? Is that the center? Yeah, I guess it is, because it was like 6 out of 12 or whatnot. So if we take these, we combine them, we fuse them, we, caught them, we hide those or whatever. And then can we like... I don't know. Light in my gas? Well, screen? I don't know. What if we polar coordinates it now? Is 
That's kind of cool. It's like stained glass a little bit. That's kind of nice. Also, that looks like a... Not a mace, like a wand. Well, kind of a mace, I guess. I don't know. Like a Madoka weapon. <laughs> a little bit. Um... What if I make the wand shape? Well, which one looks the coolest? Hold on. I mean, honestly, that one looks the coolest to me, but it's the most grainy. Hmm. Ew. These colors are fun. Like the weird, like, muted. Okay, so let's make one of these weird, like, wandy things. Never mind, we can't. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Thanks, Photoshop. Great. Okay, cool. So we'll delete that and then shrink it down. And then I want to get the one that looks like the stained glass weird woman kind of thing. I guess just normal. Okay. So then if we take this little one. I don't know if I like it inverted, but we definitely need to like brighten it up. <laughs> yeah, it looks a little Madoka. I hope the bird turns out good too. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. If we copy it and bop it over here, is that symmetrical? It's like a little off, right? Is this one like the hips connect? Well, maybe it's because the image itself isn't quite symmetrical. Hold on. No, it's just wrong. <laughs> okay, whatever. Now they're kind of symmetrical, I think. So we got that. That's kind of cool. Okay, merge it. Okay. Still need like a little bit like more. But I IDK what? I mean, that turns it back into the diamond. That turns it into weird, like, owl mask shaped thing. Um, but maybe weird owl mask shaped thing can help us. Nope. Nope, they can't. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so let's try the other shape then. Let's try going back to the weird diamond. The weird tartan diamond thing. How does if we just delete all the black? Not bad. Not bad. I still don't really like the colors on this thing though. It's a little weird. But what if we just stretch it out so it encompasses more of the image a little bit? So now we got that. We can lower the opacity on it. And then we can like select all the pink stuff here. So it's like that, and then we can like delete it out of this so there's no like overlap, kind of. I don't know. That helps a little bit. I kind of feel like this piece, like, I don't know if it looks cool or if it's like ugly. <laughs> you know? There's <laughs> a little bit of the struggle with my art process, honestly. It's like you hit a point where something's so visually busy and like frightening to look at that it's like, well, that's cool, but it hurts. <laughs> um, and that's what we call art. Let's try a different color, maybe. I mean, this is totally the same color, isn't it? Well, it's got a little bit more pink, I guess. It's not bad. Okay. Hmm. What? What more would help this? Filter gallery, save us here. <laughs> Filter gallery, help. Ooh, these like, oh, those are like off the canvas, so that's what that is. Oh, maybe I should drop them. <laughs> okay. Um. Filter gallery, filter gallery. 
I don't think glowing edges is gonna help us here. Maybe the actual stained glass effect would. Gotta make the cell size big enough that at least like, ah, uh, there's a, still a mosquito in here. Oh my gosh. It's a cursed mosquitoes killing me. Um. I don't know if this effect helps. Yeah, it is kind of cool, but it's also kind of like weird. <laughs> it's like, I kind of dig it though, but it definitely like minimalizes the piece more. And we kind of lose some detail, so maybe we can like mix the two somehow interestingly. That's kind of neat. I don't know. I don't know. Let's keep looking. Maybe this? I don't know. Let's keep looking through the filter gallery for a sec. I feel like we're still not quite there on this one. Glow, class. I mean, that's kind of neat. Like there. I don't know why it's black and white. Oh, because my colors over here are black and white, though. <laughs> like, why would it do this to my piece? Like, well. Okay. We got that going on. Kind of cool. Um. What if we emboss it at this point? Oh. Fun fact, it didn't help. <laughs> it didn't help at all. <laughs> oh well. Okay. Well, we have this. So... It's just fun doing emboss, but it always looks horrible for some reason. It's just like, man... Oh, we could get some spirals. Oh, what if we stained glass the spirals, kind of? Hold on. Can we do that? A little bit. It kind of makes it look like a flower though, which is kind of cool. Where was that one? This one? Kind of fun. Because then what if we like... Shrink these down. Where's half of the canvas there? Flip it around. Take up the other half of the canvas. Make sure they're symmetrical-ish. Is there a line between them? No? Okay. And then maybe we can find some cool blending mode thing. Where it's like, not super intrusive. I guess linear dodge add might be the best. And then we gotta do something up here. Maybe we can manipulate these stained glass sections to kind of wrap around the top or something? I don't know, do we like the weird spiral vortex things? I kinda do. I should have kept a big one of them so I could like mess around with it more. What if I like... Hold on. Undo, back it up, back it up, get the big one. Okay, what if we make a copy? What if we shear the vortex now? And kind of bend it? That didn't really do a whole lot, never mind. Well, <laughs> lessons learned. Okay, so go back to what we were trying to do. A bit ago. Let's 
songs I bought too. Um, there's something wrong this time. Okay. Okay, we did that. I think they're level now. So we can just merge them together. It was linear dodge add, right? Linear light looks like cool though. Oh, because we're, yeah, okay. So we got that, and then, so we're gonna take these stained glass sections. And I don't really know how I'm gonna achieve this effect, but we're gonna like, figure it out together. <laughs> yes, so let's flip this upside down. Okay. We can delete all this unnecessary black. I mean, even just doing that was kind of nice, so. Yeah, I'm not mad about that. That's not too bad. Okay. Now let's flip one around. Do the same on the other side. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sold on the vortexes now, actually. they don't really match the piece now anymore. Well, maybe if we copy the sides and flip them in and then like do something with them. Maybe. We'll just keep messing around with this. <laughs> okay. So, go from 2 to 10. Invert selection, copy, paste, drag it in, drag it in. Maybe we could pinch these ones or something though. I don't know if pinch will affect them. Yeah, okay then. <laughs> That's not too bad. Just like it's got little wings now. I don't know if I like them at half opacity or full. I kind of wish I could flip them though. You know what I mean? Oh, well, maybe I can. something here because I thought the edit transform flip would affect the whole canvas but I guess it just affects whatever is selected so that's kind of not too bad that's cool I feel like the center part I'm not quite there with yet though you know so now let's work on that Maybe we can do with another polar coordinates. Mm. It's still too complicated to look at, though. Where? Why is the top of this so strange, though? Well. Hold on. Maybe we could do... That's not too bad. Mm. Why does this always sound like the Celeste soundtrack, though? <laughs> okay, so if we do that, but let's figure out... Because it doesn't need to remove all this stuff. And then it also 
needs to not affect this stuff. Add that back in. I think it's interesting, but... It's like I kind of... I want this face thing, but I like... want what's underneath it also. a bad decision. Hmm. How do we achieve that, though? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Well, it's not too bad. But let's figure out... I guess let's dip back into the filter gallery for a hot second. Oh, we need to crop it again. Do we still like the stained glass effect? I'm like 50-50 on it, but I don't know if I can do anything about it now. Oof, that hurts to look at. Okay. I mean, this shape, just seeing the silhouette's so weird. Okay, what if we take... What is it, color? Sure. Okay. Take color. We merge this. It's a very heavy metal, yeah. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work how I want. We invert it. Oof. Yikes. We've made a grave error. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. I don't know. Because we have this so far, but I still feel like it's not done, you know? I mean, this is kind of cool. It's got like little eyes and stuff. Kind of neat. Mm. We like bump this up though. The difference between no contrast and high contrast is absolutely nothing. It's like, okay. Weird. Can we make this symmetrical? And will it help to make it symmetrical? Yeah, it helps a little bit. Okay. Now, I kind of like this, but I kind of wish I still had those, like, stained glass, like, edges. You know? Like, the wings or whatever. <laughs> oh, but now I need to flip them outside again. Oh, maybe not. like that maybe I think helps a little bit why does it say there's like a weird like a bit like here why is that I don't know I just erased it but it looks like there was nothing <laughs> I'm like all right weird I like this more low opacity though 
Um, but let's go grab the other... pieces I was thinking of. Well, let's undo that. It's gotta be after I fuse them, so I think this one? Something like this, maybe? Delete. And then we gotta move it down. Because it doesn't really make sense there. So it's gotta be like here about this. But it's gotta like fit in. Yeah. Okay. And then we gotta like flip it up on itself, kind of. <laughs> okay. So flip. Something like that. I don't know. Is this cool? I kind of like it. Not too mad at it. Well, maybe we should lower the opacity of these parts too. I guess I like it extreme like that. That's fine. Let's crop it again. I don't know. Looks a little like a lady shrugging her shoulders. I love it. <laughs> I do like how as soon as like I put like something that resembles eyes in a piece, for some reason it always turns into like a female character immediately on interpretation. It's so funny to me. And then if we... Okay, and then we just get back to where we were at basically. Weird. I was like, can we like... Part of me loves this though. <laughs> A little bit much, but I love it kind of. I don't know, are these colors cooler? Hold on. Or do we like it with more of the purple? Because I feel like this is almost more stained glass than this, but... Or is it, like, imperceptible and, like, there's no difference to anyone besides me? I don't know. I guess I like it more muted. I don't know. It's just weird, I guess. <laughs> okay. We'll go with that and then, I don't know, try and make some, like, other finishing touches to it, I guess, and see what happens. Look through the filter gallery once more. Glowing edges might be cool at this point. Or it might just be the worst thing of all time ever. <laughs> you know? What if we do, like, total smoothness to it? And fuse it back onto itself. That looks cool, though. Hold on. Even though I think that's just the silhouette of the- But it has more detail to it for some reason. And that's more, like, glitchy looking. Though I feel like everything we do ends up being glitchy some way or the other, you know? I guess maybe like around this opacity is kind of cool. I do wish this had color still to it, you know, though. Like how earlier I was like, I like it with less color, but now I would like want color back in it. I might like this. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see if we can put color back in it. Not a whole lot, but it is something at least, I guess. Okay, so now if we do luminosity and do 18% 
it's barely any better. It truly did not matter. I don't know. Hmm. I think that might be it for this one. I think it's kind of neat. It's a little weird. But it's kind of cool. I hope we fuse it on to itself. Can we get something funkier? Just a little bit. I still don't know why I always like things the like glitchier they look though. But I really just like that silhouette. That silhouette's kind of just fun. Oh, you burnt your burger! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna cry like no now. Uh, rip burger. Uh, rest in peace, man. So sad. I don't know what more to do to this piece, though. I don't know, is that cool? I mean, it's more minimal and glitchy. Oh. Okay, hold on. Let's make some, like, minor... Okay. I just kind of want to fade out some of these pieces. I guess I should do it with, like, a brush. Because the edges look a little too sharp for some reason. Um, this doesn't exist on the other side, so I don't know why it exists on this side. Oh, now I'm seeing it's not symmetrical. Okay, let's fix that. What side do I like more, left or right? I think right, maybe? Kalimba song always kills me every time. Just kills me on impact. Okay. Well, I think she's done. I think that's it, maybe. Oh. Um, I say as I keep working on it just a little bit. Just to intensify a little pop of color. Never mind, I like it better without. Okay. Okay. I don't know what to name this. I guess I'll name it like Ladybug. <laughs> we'll do that. Stream 15. And then we're gonna do a bunch of time challenge stuff. So, ladybug. Um, yeah. That's what ladybugs look like, right? That's what the ladybug characters from ants and stuff look like, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that's enough of the kalimba song. <laughs> Slightly killing me. Uh. I'm almost out of water. I might have to get more in a bit. Okay, new canvas. Put it on screen. We'll keep the previous one open. Let's get our little timer set up. Where is my timer? Oh, there it is. I saw the bug again for a second. So I think we're going to do the same thing as usual, like 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So we'll start with 10. So ready? Time challenge. 3, 2, 1, let's go. Okay. 
Maybe we should try a similar technique as to what we did before, I guess, because that was kind of fun. Oh, I'm accidentally using the deselect now. So earlier we did just random selections, and then we like made a like gradient over it, I think. Oh, we made a paint bucket. Let's pick a color. Let's do like light blue this time, I guess. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Who cares? Um, we'll do that. Fuse it together. Maybe this time we'll just start with a little bit of emboss, though. But we'll go up. Adds a little bit of, like, depth and shadow, you know? We'll do that. Um, okay, and then... Bugs flying in my face, which is annoying. And then we're gonna make that gradient thing again. So let's pick a different color other than this blue, or we can make a darker blue, or we could just pick like pink. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, perfect. Okay, we'll do that, and then we'll do select inverse on a different layer, and we'll pick a different color. Dark purple, sure. Perfect. And then I do kind of like that exclusion. That is kind of fun. Though since the exclusion's on the top layer, it's a little like oof. But that's okay. <laughs> we can fix it. It doesn't really matter. But triangles. The most powerful shape. The most important shape of our time. Uh, now we got that going on. This looks like my power lines piece already. <laughs> uh, so now with the triangles, let's add some sheer to it. Let's like wiggle it around. Or we could do that thing we did before. Was it ripple? I think it was ripple. Because I remember there was one time where I was like, I don't know what Ripple does. It just turns it and everything into like that 1980s cup design kind of thing. Um, maybe it wasn't Ripple then that I did. What was it then? Wave, maybe? Okay, um, I have literally never used that before, but that's kind of cool. Good to know. Which of these are the coolest, though? Just kind of looks like slime. I don't know. Okay, so we got that. Whatever that is. Um... I guess since we don't have a whole lot of time through the virtue of the 10 minute challenge, let's just start flooring it into patterning. Um, let's use these already. What if we invert the colors? I guess the inverted colors are kind of better, honestly. So if we flatten it, then we yank it up. We have yet again another like pyramid shape, so that's fun. And then if we mix the pyramid shape with what we had before, that's kind of cool. Perfect. Looking dope so far, that's good. You know what this piece needs? It needs lens flare, I think. Um, where's lens flare? <laughs> Um, it needs lens flare here, maybe? Here, maybe? I don't know. Perfect. Yes, mama. Yes. Okay, um... Well, the lens flare is kind of ugly, isn't it? Yeah. 
Oh well. Okay, cool. So we got that going on wherever that is. Um let's grab this up here again. Do something with it. As to what? I don't know. Maybe we should grab the OG triangles instead. Maybe. Actually, let's grab the horrible embossing from earlier. Let's do that. Add some stripes. Stripes are always fun. Black and white's kind of not that great, but that's okay. So we could do stripes, we can do uglier stripes. Let's just do the not super destructive ugly ones. Okay, we got that. What happens if we flip this around also? So now we have a double stripe action going on. That's fun. Let's combine the... Well... What if we just delete straight down the center? Ooh, fun. Deleting. Ooh. Let's keep going with it. Let's just erase all of it. <laughs> um, okay. And then save Delio over here. It's like, let's just delete it in some sort of funky whatever. Okay. Fine. Okay. Cool. Do that. Let's take this. Um, all the black. Sure. Let's make a gradient over it. Okay, cool. Not bad. I thought that would be terrible, actually. <laughs> Um, okay, let's select all the red. Perfect. Let's do a different gradient. But we'll actually do a gradient with red. And we'll do it to dark red slash kind of brown. Okay. Ready? Let's go. I already messed it up. Gradient. That was actually not great. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Well, we got some. Okay. Cool. Did that. Um, distort polar coordinates, maybe. Could get some sound waves. We could get. I actually like this shape a lot. It's kind of cool. Um, I actually like that a lot too. We just got to bump the colors back up. Every time I do this, I'm just like, how did I get from point A to point B? Like, how did this come out of where we started? You know? It's definitely a lot of, like, Mama, that's an eyeball, though. That's for sure. Um, well, now it's even spookier. I kind of hate that, but I also kind of love it. That's cool. It kind of reminds me of the end boss from like Kirby 64 and the Crystal Shards. And again, I could just say that about, like, any eyeball boss, like, ever in any video game. <laughs> to be like, yeah, it's them. Like, okay. Um, it's like I want that color back in the background a little bit. I don't know. That's kind of fun, though. Anyways. Go back to this. I actually really like this a lot, though, so far. It's kind of weird. Oh, we have eight seconds. <laughs> okay. But well, we got something cool out of it, so, you know, I ain't mad. Okay. Time has run out. 
I think we'll work on this one a little bit more. But I think where we actually ended up was pretty, pretty nice on this one. I don't think the edge thing is the way to go, though. I don't really know what is the way to go, though. Hold on. So let's look at this. I do kind of like the blue on the bottom. That's kind of fun. But I also do like that it's got a really, like, minimal weird edge to it, you know? Hold on a second. Let's go grab this. See if we can do something with it. We could turn the blue into red, I guess. So maybe we can do... Okay, I have, like, sort of an idea here. I don't know if it, like, makes any sense, though, but... Let's see. We do the circle shape. I made it too big. Oh, we could just literally lasso this one. Never mind. So if we chop the eye out, basically. And then we, like, make it a little bit bigger. Center it. Yeah. So we could do something like that. So we have the blue and the red. You know? What if we rotate it so the red's slightly off of the blue, though? I don't know if we want that. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Okay. And then we can... Lower the opacity of it. What if we don't make it quite red? What if we... Do saturate it a little bit to something different? Honestly, I feel like the red's probably the best, though. I'm just not really sure about the eye in the middle, though. Because it's kind of... the colors of it are kind of... Well, we could do the same thing we did earlier, I guess. Hold on. So if we lasso out just the eye... Cut, copy it onto its own layer, and then we can just kind of mess with just the eyeball. Let's do color eyes. Super saturate. I like dark blue, it's kind of fun. I feel like it's either got to be like this red or it's got to be dark blue, though. Cloister? Yeah! This would be the most terrifying cloister ever. If I saw this in the water... Well, I'm never going to go in the ocean and probably ever again anyways. But if I saw that in the water, I would, like, eject myself off the face of the planet. <laughs> like, that's the kind of reaction I would have to that. I'd be like, no. No, thank you. Um... I think this looks kind of cool. <laughs> I wouldn't even need a spaceship. Just out of fear itself, I would just launch straight off of the face of the planet. I would just be done. Be like, no thanks. <laughs> Peace out. Okay. Maybe we can grab all this blue stuff. I don't know if the blue stuff helps. Well, okay, let's just try something more with it. Hold on. Because we could, like... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know. Well, hold on. Okay, one more idea with it. Okay. Maybe we can use the fine edges on this and make it cool.
No, not really. I mean, that helps a little bit. What's going on, though, like, inside the eye? I guess this has some stuff, like, inside. Oh. I don't know. Do we like the blue? Do we not like it? Comment down below. <laughs> um. Well, we can always make it a different color, I guess. I don't feel like the blue's the best one, though. If it turns bright red, it's just like, well, it's gone. Well, never mind, you kind of like that. those lines back in though because they're just like gone well uh, I don't know well oh wait never mind okay Ooh. fancy I don't know I don't know I don't know what I want. <laughs> I Pink, though. Um. Tempting. I don't know. Is this just it? Maybe this is just it. It's kind of cool by itself, honestly. Just take a good look at it. Stare into the eye. Because, mm. like, what else could I even do to it? I don't know. Because the only thing I can think of is, like, is the background boring? <laughs> but... I don't really know if this, like, helps. Because it just kind of makes it more look like my typical, like, stuff. But... I don't know. I like this. Okay. So we'll call this one good and we'll move on to the next piece. Maybe, like, off stream or after stream I'll, like, touch it up or whatever. But what should we name this one? I make a lot of stuff that's just like, that's an eyeball. Um, um, well, I guess since we compared it to a cloister, and a cloister is like a spiky water thing, the closest thing I can think of is a sea urchin, right? Even though I think it's supposed to be like a clam because it's got like a pearl or whatever. But it could just be titled Urchin. Because that's a fun word. Even though sea urchins are frightening. <laughs> also, why is there so many Pokemon that it's just like, that's a clam. Like, there's Clam Pearl. There's Cloyster. Also, why does Clam Pearl evolve into like a dolphin? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. <laughs> Get another canvas set up and we'll do another 10 minutes. Um, race I go. Okay. Let's try something different this time. Just draw some funky shape. Um, perfect. Um... Perfect. Where is Emboss? Where is she? I guess let's copy this first before we 
emboss it. Do you ever get that feeling when you start a piece where you just instantly feel like, hmm, I don't think this is gonna go well. I think that's what I feel every time I click emboss, but it's also like thrilling. <laughs> like sometimes you just need it to go badly. Um, okay, we got that going on, um, wherever that is. What is this shape supposed to represent? I don't know. Go with that. Perfect. She is beautiful. This kind of just looks like a gerrymandered district. <laughs> It's kind of what this shape looks like so far now that I think about it. Um, okay, so fuse it all together. Let's make a background. Let's do another. Let's pick some colors that don't make sense. Sure. Well, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't know, let's pick colors that make slightly more sense, maybe. This is terrible already. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We'll make it work, right? Yeah, are there more bugs or clam Pokemon? I think there's more just straight up bug Pokemon. Because, like, literally that is a type. It's just bug Pokemon. Whereas clam Pokemon somehow don't have their own type yet. I still think it's funny that it took, like, a few generations for there to actually be, like, a valid amount of fire Pokemon. Now that I think about it. Because, like, in the first game, if you don't pick Charmander, like, the first opportunity you get for, like, a fire Pokemon is, like, so far away from them, I think. Because I don't think you could get one until, like, Cinnabar, right? <laughs> like, how this is an art stream, I'm just talking about Pokemon. Like, <laughs> it's like, no one cares about the art that's going on, it's all that matters is Pokemon. <laughs> so funny. Um... God, I do not know what I am making here. I don't even know. I'm so scared. Okay. Um... Chrome? Chrome can fix it. Um... No, maybe it can't. Some of these colors are fun. How much time do I have left? I have six minutes to somehow turn this into a, a piece. <laughs> also, my voice is going out again. Oh no. I still wonder if I have vocal nodes. I gotta find that out someday. Someday, somehow. Am I just making slime again? What am I doing? Okay. Time for... let's crop it. And then we're gonna try and pull our coordinates. I think I hear people yelling in the background. Oh no. Um... Uh, yeah, this is straight up just slime. Well, this isn't too bad. What if I take, like, the left half of it? Okay, flip it around. Perfect. Drag it back together. Why is it off-center, though? 
I don't know what this shape is either. It's like weird blob man. Like, okay. So we have weird blob man. Find it with itself. And here we have a demonstration of cells undergoing mitosis. Um, let's get some white and like fix this line. I don't think that line should be there. Also, that white's like super obvious though. <laughs> like, uh. It's not the right color, is it? Hold on, what color is here? I guess it's like off blue teal something. That looks slightly more natural. Whatever, the line can stay. Okay, we're moving on. Okay, so we got our little mitosis blob thing. Um. But now what? We can force it to undergo division as it turns into the smile of a clown. Okay. So we have clown smile now. Maybe it could be a turning point for a Beyblade anime, but marbles instead of tops. I guess this could be a Beyblade. I guess you're right. Okay. It took me like a millisecond to figure out what you meant. <laughs> it was like, huh? <laughs> But also, my brain's not working on this piece very well. I gave him little feet. <laughs> oh god. Oh jeez. Also, these just look like jellyfish, and I don't appreciate that. People in the background. I hope you can't hear them. Ew. What is that? Oh god. Oh jeez. Okay. Alright. Alright. We'll come back to that. That freaked me out. Don't like that. That kind of is just straight up a jellyfish. I don't like this piece. <laughs> I have a minute left of working on it. Uh. What is this thing? What am I making? What is <laughs> Who is this? What is this? Also, nothing's mixing together well. We have 20 seconds, oh god. Alright, we're getting somewhere, I think. Maybe, kinda. Not really, but that's okay. Take this. Bring it in a bit, I guess. And the time is up. Well, this did not go well. At all. This one is hashtag terrible. Um, that's kind of cool though, I guess. I don't know. I don't know.
Like, can we fix this? I mean, that adds cool colors, I guess. I don't really know what to do with this one. I just don't. Because it just kind of keeps turning into the same stuff over and over. Well... There has to be something, right? As Stacy Arico once sang, there's gotta be more to life. <laughs> but, okay, well that's a shape. Okay, that's a new shape. Okay. Got different colors. Okay. It's something. Um, it's looking better. Yeah. Um, I think I jinxed it when I did the embossing and I was like, you know how sometimes pieces just don't work out and look good? And then, curiously, immediately after I said that, this is what came out of it. You know? <laughs> it's like, I messed it all up. Okay. Well, what if... Okay. Alright. Hear me out here. We put this up here. We take the weird thing... Here... Okay, alright, okay. We make it small. You see what I'm trying to do? Um. God, it's just not cooperating as a. Okay. Yeah, she just doesn't want to work. <laughs> she just don't want to do what I want her to do, apparently. Yeah, this looks stupid. Okay. Could fix it a little bit. Well, what if I now take this and then I, like, rotate it? Then we can, like, put it on the edge or something, too. Well, that looks super obvious. So, never mind. Yeah, that looks bad. Okay, okay. Well, we have something. Invert? Okay, maybe now we're onto something. I did still like the other colors better, but... like before. I guess it kind of looked better before, never mind. Okay. I like this part. What is that part? When, when did I do that? Not this. Hold on. Is that that? It's this. Okay. But like way bigger somehow? I don't know. Okay. But we got something going on here now. Hear me out, this might be a weird idea, but... When have I not made something that is questionable? In taste and practice. Okay, select inverse copy, y'all. Okay. And then distort, no, blur. Radial blur? Motion blur? Okay. 
zero. Okay, never mind. Um, invert again, copy maybe just the center part. Motion blur. Oof. Okay, maybe not that. Well, we can add a smear to it. That's cool. Never mind, that's kind of cool. Okay. Alright. Okay. It just looks like a weird logo. You know? So, let's go into the... Like the squiggly arms jellyfish thing. <laughs> yeah. I want to stay away from the jellyfish, though. Jellyfish are creepy. <laughs> Just not a big fan of them. I'm like, why does this look so bad? And then I remember that I chose, like, really terrible, like, colors. Smoothness, max. Okay. Why does smoothness just blur it? Like, why would I want that? <laughs> Weird. Maybe glowing edges here will help? No? I guess not. Well, I mean, that adds more background elements. Well, at least that's something, I guess. Um... Take the smear again and add it somewhere. Oh! That like glitches it out more, but those colors are kind of nice. Oops, wrong button. Okay. And then of course it gets rid of the colors the second I want them. Give me the colors, Photoshop. Give me the colors. Okay. So we'll take those colors and we won't get them back. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thanks, Photoshop. Um, man, all my pieces today kind of look similar, don't they? Which I guess that's the first time that's ever happened, actually. It's like the smear patterns like messing everything up though. So weird. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. I don't know, this one's kind of just not going well, isn't it? Hmm. to do. I do kind of like this top part now and I like the middle and the bottom. It's just like the weird like edges like the wings or whatever kind of bad. So maybe you can fix those by removing them from existence. <laughs> no. No I can't. That is not gonna work. Um, what if I take the smear? And we rotate it 90 degrees. And then we copy it and then we flip it because I'm not sure if it's a symmetrical smear or not. And instead of divide, maybe we do something different.
He's kind of fun. That's kind of fun, too. I don't know, should I just move on to the next piece? Do we hate this one? I don't know. I think that helps it a little bit. It's just not very colorful because it's just like, that's red. But it does kind of just look like a logo. Because hmm. it's kind of like this is a goblet. That's like a face. This is like, I don't know, you'd brand this into a cow or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I don't know. We're going to move on. Okay. <laughs> we'll come back to this one. Maybe at the end of the stream. I'm gonna name this one Brand. Okay. We're gonna move on. We're gonna do a 15 minute one. <laughs> and then we might come back to this one and try and like do something with it, but I don't know. I don't know what more could be done. Okay. So, new. I guess sometimes things just don't work out. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, 15 minutes on the clock. Ready, set, go. Okay. Um, this time, what do we want to do? We could do something semi-similar to what we did before. I definitely want to change it so it's not entirely black and white in the end product, though. It's a shape already, though. Flip it around. Okay. Got that. Flip this upside down or invert it. We're going to use emboss, but this time we're going to use it to like move shapes around a little bit. That's kind of cool. Okay. I don't know what just happened there. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's get some... Let's fix some stuff again. Okay. I just gotta make sure this is somehow... I don't know. We can fix it. Hold on. Oh, I want that to stay white. Okay. Oh, it's not white. It's still a teal. Okay, got it. Okay. Did it. Got it. Okay, good. Okay. Where's the polygon tool? start at the center here make it to the edges finish it okay I'm gonna f make sure it's symmetrical again I don't really know what I'm doing but this is kind of cool Everything keeps changing. 
why are you like this photoshop uh, whatever okay Okay, whatever. Okay. Um, I think there's... There's like... A black there. Well, now it's not... Oh my god. Whatever. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. It's gotta keep moving, okay. Okay, and then I was gonna select all the black, I think, and I was gonna do the gradient thing again. So let's pick some colors. Pick like a rose pink. That's too light, dang. Okay. Pick like a dark pink. That's still too light. Okay. Oh, I'm using the wrong one. Oh. That doesn't really work. Dang. Okay. Maybe instead of white, we'll do red. This is awful. I think after the last piece, my confidence for the day has taken a little bit of a hit. <laughs> Which is a little tragic, but... Okay. Um... Just gotta emboss a few times. This is kind of how our first piece went too, wasn't it? I guess let's try layer or color overlay a little bit. I think the only thing I don't like is the fact that it's still not truly symmetrical, but that's okay. Got like the floppy top part of a clown jester man. Yeah, it's not symmetrical. Oh no. <laughs> it's just not quite there. Oh well. Fun. The bottom half of this is so boring, though. I gotta fix that. And, oh no, I can't see my screen again. Okay. But now, even if that happens, I can push through with the best of my ability. Okay. That's not too bad of a shape. It's not too good of a shape either, though. <laughs> so what was Wave again? Oh, wave was this thing. Okay. I mean, that is kind of fun, vaguely. Hold on. Some of these are vaguely interesting. 
very spacey. I like that. That's kind of cool. Let's try polar coordinates again, though. Let's displace. Oh, I don't even know. That was confusing. I'm just gonna ignore that one. Polar coordinates once more. It's like a mask. People are yelling in the house. That's great. Ugh. So over it. Okay. Tolerance 20. Contiguous. Let's select all this gray stuff if we can. It's not quite doing that, so never mind. <laughs> Um, I don't know. We have five minutes still left on this one. Oh, I clicked on this place again. Oh god. Uh, filter gallery. Okay. I, I might have to end the stream pretty fast after this one, because drama starting to happen in the house. So I might have to go. It's just such a bummer. <laughs> I just want to keep photoshopping and having fun, but everything's so stressful. <laughs> Photoshop is when things are supposed to not be stressful, but... Oh well. like a Mario villain. I feel like it looks like an evil clown thing. It's like... Yeah, it's kind of fun though. Hmm. I definitely want to keep some of it being not super glitchy. Wow, I don't know. Some of the glitchiness is kind of fun though. I wonder if I flip it upside down now. I guess I like it more the other. Well, I don't know. This is kind of cool. I like the floor part to also happen down here, though. Which maybe I can do. Hold on. Okay. So if I just take this here. Select, inverse, delete, um, but then, well, I gotta do this, like, tastefully, which is difficult to do when your brush size is set to, like, a thousand percent. Do I want this white stripe or no? I guess I don't care. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. Um, okay. But we'll fuse that. Merge. Color burn. Overlay's not too bad. Okay. Oh, this is kind of cool looking. It's not too bad. We still have two minutes. I forgot we were actually being timed. <laughs> it's like... What happens if I shear it, but I don't repeat the... Okay. 
Kind of weird. Okay. That's kind of neat. I kind of want to get rid of all this white. Oh, I forgot to make a duplicate of this. Hold on. So, if I... Okay. Oh, this is going to be a lot of manual erasing, isn't it? I'm gonna have to clean this erasing up a lot, but we'll see what it turns out like. I guess. I don't know, parts of it are a little whack. Okay. It's like. This part's kinda wacky. This part's kinda weird. Okay. What's going on with this blue over here? I don't know. <laughs> but like it just erased like everything that's added, but okay, whatever. Um Yeah, okay, well that's fine. Fine. It's great. Okay, well, that's not too bad. And then I think I want to copy the right side of it. Kind of make it symmetrical from there. Oh, and the time's up. Well, let's finish this one flip real quick. I think this is kind of not bad. We can work on it a little bit. A little bit longer, hopefully. But we still got like 15 minutes left to make it a two hour stream. But at least that's good. So, that said, let's try and figure it out. Uh, I don't want to make the colors too extreme. Maybe we'll just do hue saturation wiggle it around. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of interesting thinking about, like, this came out of, like, 15 minutes and stuff like that. Yeah, I guess let's just, like, look at what we did. Whereas, like, this one took, like, a hot minute. I think it's been, like, 30, 40 minutes or something on this one. I think it still turned out pretty cool. I don't know how I feel about the overall colors and stuff, but it is kind of weird, so I appreciate that at least. And then Urchin's super weird. <laughs> And this was like, well, I worked on it after the time limit ended, because I always do that, I guess. But it's just cool seeing, like, I don't know, like, hour 45 minutes, and we made, like, four different pieces, and they're all kind of different. I think all the ones today kind of are unified under, like, similar feels of like aesthetics though because usually when I do this it's like each piece looks radically different but everything today kind of turned out very samey for good or for worse I don't know because <laughs> like on one hand it's cool to have a style on the other hand it's like I don't know it's good to have versatility but I don't know <laughs> whatever <laughs> so it's just fun it's always fun just making stuff on Photoshop and seeing what comes out of it and stuff like that. I just don't know if I like the blue. I kind of do, though. I guess. I 
And then I'm wondering if I could do like motion blur a little bit on the background. To bring it in just a little. Or to add some movement or whatever. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I mean, that just kind of makes everything glowy. Glowy and glitchy. So I don't know if that was really a improvement or not. I mean, that's kind of cool. But, mm. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm happy with this one. I think this is, might be it. Maybe we'll try color overlay for like a hot second. I mean, these are a little extreme, so maybe not. I don't know. Maybe we'll just do color or hue, though. Yeah, I think hue might be the way to go. But I think that blue might be the best option, so... Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I think it's done. Okay. I don't know what to name this one. I think I'm gonna name it, like, Neo or something like that. I don't know. It kind of feels like that false sea that was in the Final Fantasy XIII 2 stream yesterday. The one that was like, as soon as we landed in Academia was all like, okay, target spot and take him out. So, I don't know. I don't know. I can name it Academia. <laughs> in honor of that. So, I don't know. Do we want to keep working on any of them more for like a little bit? Because I'm looking at this one and I'm like, I don't know. I'm not really like, like it's so flat, but I kind of like that it's flat, like color wise. Because it feels like a brand or a logo or a tattoo or something, which is kind of cool. Good luck to any tattoo artist trying to put this on a person, though. I think Urchin's cool. I think I'm good with how Urchin ended up. Though I do feel like there's, like, a lot of just, like, black space that I wish had some sort of detail in it. But I don't really know what to do about that. Really. And then this one... I don't know. Maybe I'll color overlay this one a little bit, too. We could just give it a shot for a hot sec. Um, but we'll just do hue. But I think the parts I wish had color are the white parts, honestly. I don't really know how to go about doing that with a flip it around and then hue it, maybe? Well... I don't know. Is it better being green or pink red? I can't really tell. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's look at color overlay again. Maybe just multiply. Oh, that adds color to everything, so maybe. Maybe this is our route to adding color back into the white parts. I don't want to do red again because the other piece is also red. <laughs> but all my pieces are also like red or like light blue or like pink. I don't know, we can make this one yellow for like a hot minute. I guess. So if we do this and then we take this and then we you but then it just turns white again. Ugh, so frustrating. Why is color so hard? Oh well, I guess it was done. <laughs> Never mind. I guess we won't work on it anymore. 
And then I guess this one's cool too. Like, I could kind of see this on a shirt, right? The Shruggy Lady's to one of your faves. Which one was Shrugging Lady? Her? Wait, which one? This one? This one? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> was it one, two, three, or four is your favorite for this stream today? <laughs> Call in and let me know. Um, I think my favorite might be Urchin for today. It's a little spooky ooky, but I'm always a sucker for like eyes and stuff. What happens if I invert the colors on it though? Never mind. <laughs> We have regrets. Um, <laughs> but I think that one's cool. I don't know. I felt like I could see this on a shirt though, which is nice. This one's okay, so... I think Urchin's my fave today. But, I guess with that all done, I think... Even though I felt like my energy was a little off on this stream. Probably from like the drama going on in the background, but um... That said, I think I'm gonna go make dinner and like, I don't know, chill. Maybe I'll like play some more Final Fantasy 13 off stream and like spin around in circles and level up for a bit <laughs> or something. But it's just nice to get back to more Photoshop and start off February with some new art and stuff. So yeah, I think with that, to everyone watching here on Twitch or who watches the VOD recording later or watches it on YouTube. I appreciate it. So thanks for viewing a little snippet of my art and a little part of my life. <laughs> it's cool. So that said, I'm gonna transition to the ending stream screen. So yeah. Awesome stream. Awesome art. Thank you. <laughs> and with that all said and done. Thanks for watching.